Yes, I saw where Honduras um, is suspending certain provisions of their constitution and it has to do with fundamental rights and freedom which means that they are about to invoke a state of emergency and from what I have been seeing on the international news particularly coming out of Central America is that they are going to do the similar to what is being done in Salvador um, relating to the crackdown on gangs I have heard likewise from a few counterparts in Guatemala that they are also contemplating the same Certainly, Belize is right next door to Guatemala, not too far from Honduras, again, next door through the maritime domain, and Salvador is just an hour away, likewise. And so, as a nation, we have to look at what is happening around us very seriously and uh, make sure we put things in place that is not going to have these gang members who may want to flee those jurisdictions see us as a safe haven. And with that, I, I can say that we are monitoring our local gangs very closely and uh, as much as we are working with them through the multi-sectoral approach and the LIU, if it is that we should find that despite the efforts that we are doing um, through the multi-sectoral and the LIU, that the propensity for violence among these gang members do not decrease, then we will have to look at draconian measures as well. Um, we're, we're hoping that we don't have to get there, but as a department as a country, the, the government have a responsibility to ensure it safeguard the, 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 the masses and we cannot allow ourselves to be held hostage or imprisoned by a few persons who just don't want to behave themselves. So it's something that we're monitoring very closely and the minute we see that things is not going the way it should, then who needs to be locked down will be locked down.